Mrs. Jackman from Middle Country Public Library. For Earth Day, I'd like to show you a couple ways that you can take your old t-shirts and upcycle them, uh, creating a new scarf and some other fun wearables. All you're gonna need is a couple old t-shirts, a pair of scissors, and maybe a glue gun for a couple of ideas. Oh, stay put. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your t-shirt and you're gonna lay it out. And try and get it nice and flat. And then using your scissors, you're gonna cut across from one armpit to the other armpit horizontally across the t-shirt. This part we can put aside for other use. Now you have a piece like this and you're gonna cut the hem off at the bottom of the shirt. Now, after you've snipped, the next thing you do is stretch. You're gonna open this up so that you have a loop like this and stretch it that's gonna kind of roll the hems, make sort of a fake hem on the sides. Um, and then you could just wear it like this, and sort of have it be a scarf. You could double it over. But one idea that we can do is to create a little bit of fringe. And the way that we do that is we're gonna cut vertically now up a little bit and you can decide to do it all the way across the um, entire t-shirt, or maybe you just want it in the front. So we're gonna cut up about four or five inches and make these strips maybe about a half an inch wide. And I just kind of keep pulling it straight so that I know that it's even. And these I'm just putting on the front of this scarf. And then cut all the way through. I mean, if you have um, fabric scissors, that would probably work good too. If you don't have fabric scissors and you're just using your regular scissors, you just have to be a little bit more patient with it and, um, and cut carefully. All right, I'm going to give you an idea of what this looks like. I've cut almost across. And then you're going to take each one of these that you cut and you're going to pull them so that they um, kind of curl in on themselves. So you snip and you stretch and then you shape it so that you can wear your scarf with the little fringe in front. Like, like that. So that was option one of um, how to make your old t-shirt into a scarf. Option two Take your t-shirt, this one is tie-dyed, you could use whatever old t-shirt you have, one that you don't wear anymore. Um, and again, we're gonna cut across from one armpit to the other armpit. Try and hold them a little bit so that you get across. Save this for later use. Again, we're going to cut the hem off of the bottom. Save that. 
So now we're gonna cut in the same direction. We cut across at the armpits, we cut the hem off. Um, we're gonna keep this the same way and we're gonna cut strips going up. You're gonna leave um, like a little bit of fabric at the top so you don't cut all the way through. And probably want these about an inch apart. inch thick and then just leaving them attached at the top you're going to do that all the way across the shirt and what you're going to end up with is sort of a car wash effect um, all the way across after you snip you're going to stretch each one of these out and that rolls the edges of it creating a t-shirt yarn. So first we created a scarf. Now we're stretching this out and creating t-shirt yarn all the way across. Let's see if I could do a few at a time. And then when you have them done, you have them all as t-shirt yarn. You can cut another piece out of your t-shirt, like a, a rectangle, that then you're gonna wanna cut into three strips so that we can braid it and make a little decorative piece to go around the edge. So you're gonna cut this into three strips and then you're gonna braid it until you have a piece like this. So you have your three strips. You braid over the middle, over the middle. You keep. Doing that until you have it all in one braided strip. And where all of your pieces connect at the top, you're gonna to gather this up together, like bunch it up so that you can hold it in one hand like this with the seam together. We're gonna, oops, I should have done this first. Tie off your braid that you made. And then we're gonna do this using a little bit of hot glue. Um, I'm gonna lay the braid over top. I'm gonna get it to stick with a little bit of hot glue. Ah, that was hot. And then you're gonna wrap your braid around to hide this piece that you just made and to hide the seam at the top. You just keep wrapping it around. And then this last little bit you can tuck underneath. A little bit of hot glue showing. I'm gonna just tuck it underneath that braid right there. I don't know if you can see that. But then it makes uh, this decorative edge for what becomes your t-shirt necklace. And you can decide if you wanted to, to show your braided edge, maybe that becomes decorative part of it. So that is option two of what you can do with your t-shirt. Um, Another idea, and this is just a quick little idea. You see this tan shirt I have. I've cut this up a lot. This is the sleeve. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just cut directly across the sleeve. Trying to keep it um, like an even distance from the hem to the scissors.
and stretch it out and it made a headband. So you could decide to keep this, um, I kept this hem on because it had like this little decorative bit, but you could cut that off as well um, and then stretch it and it becomes a headband. And then the last way I have to show you, um, you know what, I'm gonna use this tie dye bit one again. Cause I think that would be fun. So, you know, you have the whole rest of your t-shirt. Might as well cut some from the back. cut it straight across so that you're making sort of like a large rectangle. I feel like I'm cutting crooked right now. All right, so there's my rectangle. take this and I'm going to cut it into three even strips that then I'm going to braid. Maybe I won't cut all the way through to the top because it did make it a little bit easier last time when I was braiding that I left it a little bit that way. And I'm cutting a little bit fast and messy right now, but you can do this a little bit, take a little bit more care in doing it so it'll come out better. I'm going to stretch them so they become a little bit rounded. And then I can braid them one or the other. I always take the one from the outside and put it over the one that's in the middle, one from the outside and put it over in the middle. And kind of tug at them a little bit to make it braid. One from the outside, put it over the one in the middle. You just kind of keep doing that, taking the one from the outside and putting it over the middle. And then as you can see, um, it made a nice little braid and you can wrap it around your wrist and tie it. Um, and then with a little hot glue, glue it up and you have yourself a wrist wrap. And you can decide if you wanted to um, leave them like these thicker, um, thicker pieces and make kind of like a, a chunky wrist wrap out of it. If you decided you wanted to um, cut thinner strips, then it would make a fine, thin wrist strap. So um, I hope you enjoyed these ideas today. And I hope that you use your own creativity and your own ideas and take what you have at home, um, clothing that you wouldn't be wearing, and transform it into something completely new and upcycled and uh, enjoy these ideas. So thanks so much for watching my video today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it.